Right, let's do six. Mothers, grandmothers, and sisters made a balloon runway. We can probably put two more this way. To welcome to this, back the East Bank Little League girls softball team. To see the girls work so hard and to see the experience that they get to play with other countries. Like we played Italy, we played Latin America. And to see that they get to talk to other girls and learn about their cultures. I love to see her play. She's like a big role model to me whenever she plays, and she's a good sister to me. Even a mayor, sheriff, and other public leaders were there too. I'm very proud to see how good this program has been able to develop over the years. Uh, you know, it makes it great to be able to watch them on ESPN last night. Complete strangers like this traveler from Wisconsin was anxious to see the players he had watched on national TV. And I thought this really neat. Who did say they gonna beat East Bay? And then the 11 and 12 year olds arrived after being away for nine days. Sure, they were disappointed for being the world runners up, but they understand silver is a huge accomplishment and a learning experience. I'm just excited that I got the chance to go, and I'm kind of sad that we didn't win, but at least we got there. You need to always believe in your team and have confidence in each other and just build each other up and have fun. Well, I just reminded them that, you know, they are all champions inside, and, and so they need to hold their heads up and be proud. It's quite an accomplishment that 3,000 other teams weren't able to do. And then a final farewell cheer. One, two, three, thank you know. And it's back to school and reality, but this time with memories they'll talk about for decades to come. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.